Lots happening today. We're processing through the $50,000 collection that we just got a little bit ago. Alpal's working on eBay, Matt's working on Amazon, and we have a whatnot show this afternoon, plus preparing our biggest whatnot show ever. So let's dive in to the full day. So this collection is absolutely beautiful. We bought it over on the main channel, Chase up to the right price, and now we gotta figure out what to do with it. Now we'll say we sell on three different avenues. So one is eBay, two Amazon, three whatnot. And we gotta kinda figure out how we're gonna move this as quickly as possible. I have you know, tens of thousands of dollars tied up in this collection. I definitely need to move a lot of it. I wanna keep a few pieces for the collection. Definitely get some condition upgrades. Probably this Pokemon Crystal is gonna be better than my current one. I'm keeping the Mountain Dew Xbox and the one in the box as well. But when we get beyond the stuff that I'm keeping, how am I gonna do it? Well, usually for me, step one is sending out the list of games to a few people uh, that are collectors and I know they're looking for particular things. So I have a few people into graded games and uh, I ask them what they're interested in, pulled a couple of those. I actually have a couple, uh, this one is sold, I think 300 bucks, and then I've got, it's a great grade, it's greatest hits version, it'd be worth a lot more if it wasn't. I've got a Twilight Princess over here, 9.6A for GameCube for 400 bucks, that is sold. So these are gone. A uh, little bit of a value increase I was able to get in grading them. Not too terribly much, but those ended up being worth it. Uh, that buyer also wanted a new SNES controller, so that's 120 bucks. And then the Halo Xbox 360 is also sold to them. That's over here. This thing is beautiful. Um, great condition. It is sealed. Last hole on it was 1200 bucks. I'm giving them a deal for 1000 through Venmo. And I usually like to move a bunch of stuff uh, quickly. I guess not a bunch, but you guys will see the size of their order. And that helps, you know, recoup some of the money very quickly. Uh, but then after we pull those orders, we kind of got to figure it out. I'm going to get the rest of their order pulled. I'll show you guys everything that's being sold direct. All right, so here's everything from the first private order. $2,785 for everything that you see here. That's kind of just eating the fees, giving them a good deal. Um... Really good deal, actually, but it's an immediate sale. They're gonna love it. I'm super excited for them to get it. Uh, and then everything that you see here is going to a different collector. So that's gonna be $523, another good deal there. Sega Genesis, you gotta love it. Those are the private deals, those are pulled. And now we need to move on to what we're gonna do with the rest of this stuff. We sealed like three or four more huge sales to members of our private Discord and the grand total of private sales ended up being over $5,000 from this collection, so it's a great, great start. Um, four of the Pokemon games complete in box, the extra ones have sold, and then a Sega Saturn complete in box system, Sega Saturn bundle, some other Sega CD games, and a few of the graded, two of the graded games that got high grade sold as well. So we're doing quite well as far as private sales go, and now we're going to move on to a Lego unboxing from a viewer. So this is a very unique and massive Lego unboxing. Let's get right into that. So we got some crazy stuff. I just started unboxing. These boxes got like rained on terribly yesterday, but I think that they're going to be okay. My UPS guy has got to start, you know, putting stuff not in the rain, uh, but thankfully... Justin, the guy I got these from. Shout out to you, Justin. Packed them quite well. So there's some crazy sets. We'll get them out of the bubble wrap in a second. Uh, but after I unbox these, get these paid for, we've got a really big whatnot auction this afternoon at 1 p.m. Uh, today. So got a few hours to prepare. We'll go over there and look at that stuff in just a second. Talk about the auction. Talk about what else is going on and Q4 madness. So here we have it. This was roughly an $800 deal for all these Legos. The extra large Ecto Ghostbusters is sealed. Batmobile is sealed. And this one is also sealed, the Batwing 1989. And then this one is used, but that's a huge set nonetheless. Probably six to seven hundred dollars in used condition. Fully complete. We've got a few extra pieces back here. Another smaller Ghostbuster set, the BB-8. Those are used, built, and complete which is a little tougher to sell, obviously sealed I would prefer, but we're gonna get those either sent off to Amazon or listed up on eBay, not sure yet. Gotta research the prices. Well, let's go over and check out our whatnot. 
stuff. I always like to build some Pokemon card lots to have those ready. If people want them, I've got like eight lots ready to go. We start the bid at 20 bucks on those. We got some Pokemon DVDs we'll probably sell. But the main event, and this is always important for whatnot, is to have some big attraction pieces, you know, things that everybody's interested in. Um, sealed DS games, heavies, right there, is one of the main things. Some sealed games up here, but also the sealed controllers. So the Xbox and the blister pack. The NES controller, these are how Nintendo of America sent them in new condition, so that's new. SNES controller new, N64 new, some limited Switch games. And then I tease these as a maybe. Like we might be running complete in-box Pokemons with Crystal, Ruby, Red, and Yellow. So that's kind of wild. Um, but that's happening at 1 p.m. today. I think our goal is going to be to do about, I don't know, 3,500 in sales would be would be fantastic for an afternoon show. We'll see if it can happen. And, and as I'm filming this, you know, usually about once a month, maybe once every couple months, we like to have a massive evening show. It's like a five to seven hour behemoth where the goal is $20,000 in sales in one night. Um, and everything you see back here is going to be part of that, which is like, this is crazy. We could do 30,000 in sales at this one. Our biggest ever was between 40 and 50,000 in sales in one night. We did tons of giveaways, you know, gave away PS5, Xbox series and switch among many, many other giveaways. So that definitely helps. Um, they take a ton of man hours, a ton of time, but they can be really good. And, and, you know, coming into the heart of Q4, I think it's a really good time to do this. So that's, that's what we're doing. And for those that don't know, our business is very diversified. We sell on three platforms, Amazon, whatnot, and eBay. And it's about a one third split each way. At least it was last year. Surprisingly, we brought in whatnot last year and that ended up being our number one area of sales revenue. We didn't expect it, but because of the big shows and things like that, it, it just kind of added up. We have me plus four full-time people here. So um, we like to be diversified to reduce risk. It's super important to me um, in my personal life, but also in my business life. And these are some of my, some of my best friends that, that are all working here. So I want to be sure that, you know, if we were to lose one or even two of the buckets of revenue from the business, we'd still be okay. So we like to keep all of them fueled. So another one that Matt's working on, I assume right now is Amazon. And he's kind of generally in charge of that. Sending off a couple hundred games a week, maybe five to 10 systems, um, which can be hard when we're doing a lot of whatnot. All right, Matt, what are you listening on Amazon right now? A uh, Game Boy player for GameCube Oof. with the disc. That's got to be pretty pricey. Yeah. What was it? What's it running? Uh, after fees, two fifty. That's fantastic. Game Boy players are, are definitely a good Amazon item. But Alpel is also working on eBay, so let's look at what Alpel's doing. Alpel, you got eBay. I do. This is a good stack of stuff. I know it's been enjoyable to list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice when we get an amazing collection and you can list. This Especially quality. all these. I'm excited oh to gosh. list all these super clean Game Boy. Yeah, games. isn't that one like seven hundred bucks or something? Yeah. I mean, maybe yeah, more least, in that yes. minty condition. Yes. That's not even the greatest stuff that I've been listing. Yeah. What else you got? Um, we're doing uh, 10 a day right now. Yeah. Yep. 10 a day. But we're really trying to keep the average sales price extremely high right now. Yes. Yes. Uh, listen to all these transformers. I think there's like, what, 20 of them maybe? Uh-huh. I think they're like, like 70 bucks a piece probably. Sweet. We, Roughly. We got these in a collection for 25 to 35 yeah. a piece. And they're so. all sealed, so pictures were super easy. Shipping will be super quick. So those are great. You got to love those listings. Yeah. Inventory management is kind of... I'm just really trying to figure out. Because all the stupid... Not stupid, but just big weird stuff. It's hard to... Like, yeah, it's a out. natural challenge that we've... Yeah. But I definitely utilize the, the game barn shelves more now. I like, like what you've done here. All the games are here. These are some of the, oh, you want to touch all these. All these are the Saturn. Yeah. Power huge, Slave. Close to 400 probably. Bomberman. So that's like 500. Dragon Warrior. Probably in that condition. Dragon what? Force. Oh yeah, Dragon Force. Is it like four, 350? Something like that. Uh, Maybe more. I think it was more. Because there was, this is there was like. There a recent one that sold for 600. Oh, really? So I think I listed for 600 Oh, nice. Yeah, because it has the sticker and, like, the little insert. Nice. And then this is the Magic... Magic uh, Knight Ray Earth. Yeah. That is a working designs title and one of the most expensive. Mega Man for Game Gear. Probably pushing two grand, if not a little more in this condition. There was one that sold last year for two. Okay. So I put it up for 25 and... Yeah, so for those that don't know, 
We'll talk about our eBay pricing strategy a little bit. We price so that people can make offers. Um, we start we start a little bit high and then kind of work our way down. And you can do it however you want. This is how we do it right now. And our sell-through rate in 90 days is still almost always at 100% or close to it, meaning our entire store inventory turns over every 90 days. That's very healthy. That's where I want to be. So as long as that is the case, we will still kind of price the way that we do. But at the same time, it gives us freedom to, to work with sales, to send offers aggressively, and, and to have that type of stuff. It's kind of the Kohl's model, I guess you could say, versus like the everyday low price Walmart model. People do it in all sorts of different ways. That's how we do it for now. Um, so as always, you know, feel free to message us on Instagram. We'll give you a sweet deal on anything that you see on eBay that you're interested in. But you've worked all this stuff too. Uh, changed the inventory management a little bit. We made these double deep shelves. And I like how you have these boxes down here with numbers. Yeah, so nice, nice improvements here. These are like typical media shelves. Um, and then we added these for depth, so it gives you freedom. I, I did notice I pulled something up from this one today, box mm. 13, and uh, it was super easy, super yeah. quick. Whereas, you know, it's always a bummer when you have to pull something from A1 because we have to move the rolling stairs over there. These are 12 foot ceilings. It is great because the vertical storage enables us to have a lot more stuff. Um, but yeah, it's tougher to, to pull from the bin I, system. Honestly, thinking about it, I might eventually like move like this to like stuff that's over here that we don't use much because mm. it's like for inventory purposes like i have to get up there and see what kind of space i have and it's like time consuming it's like oh let me see if i have space in a3 to show shove stuff in there okay versus if i have everything in reach i can just be like oh yeah so if you went there's space there yeah like this is the highest so you can reach it easily yeah we can put the stuff that we don't use very often but have stored over here like all those switches and stuff up there and yeah. the trade the trade systems that, that that's a good idea which i think i'll have to keep those two free though because of the big stuff that doesn't oh yeah fit the well super tall yeah on the shelves but i see what you're saying yeah it's a work in progress but we're always trying to improve guys and uh hopefully as we you know are learning ourselves you know some of these things might be helpful to you guys for example, if you don't know where these shelves came from, I love these things. These are HDX shelves from Home Depot. I, I think I actually finally got an affiliate. Maybe not. I don't know. We might try to link those down below. If not, they're the ones with 24 inch depth. HDX should be about a hundred bucks from Home Depot. They're fantastic. I highly recommend them. We, we're definitely trying to figure out how to improve every single day. And Alpel's definitely improved eBay in a lot of ways since he's been doing it for over a year. You've gotten better at it than than me, so. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to XYAB, the sponsor of this channel. They're a business-to-business -business video game accessory supplier. We love them and use them frequently in our business. And if you're selling video games, you can use our link in the description for $50 off your first order of 100 bucks or more. Matt was able to get some Amazon shipments boxed up and ready to go. About 1500 in projected profit right there and then Alpal had a fantastic weekend of sales on eBay. Matt's been boxing up everything, getting it all shipped out over here. So that's been a huge, huge weekend of sales. It was about $3,000 in sales, 30 items, probably now 34 now that we've sent offers and, and accepted a few more. So eBay's definitely definitely popped off this weekend. That's a great weekend. And you can see the shelf behind me has shifted a little bit for the whatnot. So the whatnot was successful. We did about $3,700 in sales. So now Matt is shipping that out. Um, some of the stuff went pretty light. Definitely had a lot of stuff go under market. Kind of normal for an afternoon show. But, you know, the value is that processing time is very low, listing time is very low, and it's still very well worth it to us. We've got that entire collection, the big one, the $50,000 collection set aside. Like I showed you, we're still anticipating the biggest show we've had in a very long time with everything behind me. So check out our WhatNot link down below, guys. We're not sponsored by them, um, but... You can get $15 credit if you don't have whatnot. I guarantee you're going to have a good time, a good experience, and you could win some crazy, crazy giveaways with the PS5 being given away, with Leaf Green being given away. I've been working on creating some, some value boxes for that show. It's going to be nuts, so check it out. 
bookmark the show. You got to come hang with us Friday the 13th at 5 p.m. Eastern, and we'll go until about midnight Eastern. So it's going to be absolutely crazy. We hope to see you there. Thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.